you were talking about the, the male soul that splits into gay, a gay soul and yep. a female there. I was wondering, is the distribution of the souls, maleness and females, more or less like the bell curve of distribution? Yes, and more like a statistical bell curve. So it's the ends of the bell, if you like, that are the dominantly masculine and the dominantly feminine, and they split, and the majority of the souls split into a heterosexual type of relationship on Earth. Obviously, God made it that way so that procreation of the human race would continue. If the dominant split was homosexual or lesbian, then there wouldn't be much procreation perhaps occurring, and so you know, it would be much more difficult for the human race to continue. But God's, God made the split. In the same way that he makes many other splits with, or, or many other things, right of variety, right the way through all of creation, and the ends of that variety, the dominantly masculine and the dominantly feminine, are the homosexual souls, if you like, and the ones in the middle are the heterosexual souls. Yeah, and so God, from God's perspective, they are all her children, and they are all loved as much as each other. From God's perspective. The problem is our perspective. We often have very many injuries in terms of love ourselves. We often have very many phobias, and many of those things include homophobias. And we need to deal with those things emotionally. 